I know. I can't believe it. Me neither. Except I, I can believe it. I mean, he's hot, makes bank, does like P90X every morning. He's perfect. That's the point. This is what happens when you get engaged to Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect lives in a universe of limitless booty potential. I mean, come on, what else was he gonna do? He's a guy. You never told me that before. I told you all the fucking time. You wouldn't listen. I was happy. Don't I have the right to be happy? Uh, hello. This is America. People's rights get fucked up all the time. So, where's this diary? It's not in his desk anymore. He knows I know something. I got weird, and then he got weird. He's put it somewhere. Like, where? He's got a storage unit. He says we have too much stuff. He's always tidying away my things. Pathological. I'm in his fucking feng shui. So you just got me around here to get wasted. I need your help. What? To break in. Oh, Jesus, fuck. No. I don't do that anymore. I need to know. You just can't help yourself, can you? You remember what happened last time? He broke into what's-his-name's email account. And I was right. He was still fucking his Ella, ass. you can't pry into everything. If you don't trust him, why are you marrying him? It's because I'm marrying him I need to know. Well, I'm not doing it. I don't know how you talk me into this. It's because you love me. Now, I just need to take a look at that diary, put my mind at ease, case closed. The case with you is never closed. That's the fucking problem. Hey, if you do this for me, it will be. I swear on the, the holy, whatever that thing Catholics do it. Please, leave God out of it. He's too busy with regular wackos. I don't know why you want to get married anyway. It's so conventional. I am conventional. You know, your problem is you actually believe in all that true love, happy ever after crap. If you ask me, people aren't suited to marriage. It turns everyone into liars. I mean, do animals get married? Albatrosses mate for life. Yeah, but we're not albatrosses. We're bonobos. What? Well, oh, they're monkeys. They're into group sex. Well, listen, Molly, I'm not a monkey. I'm not into group sex, and Brad better not be either. And look, it's right up ahead. would Brad get a storage unit all the way out here? He's rich. Rich people are cheap. You got your story straight? I don't need a story. He's my fiance. He's the one who needs to get his story straight. found him in someone's unit after they left. The little guy was starving, practically had to nurse him back to life. Sometimes I just don't understand people. People can be so cruel. Swipe us in, will you? Sure. So, which one of you is Brad? Oh, he's my fiance. Uh-huh. And your fiancé, he knows you're snooping through his unit, huh? <laughs> I'm messing with you. You want to sell his golf clubs, you go right ahead. Funny, <laughs> thanks. We got those uh, flatbed trolleys if you need one. You get Wayne to lend you a hand. We're good, thanks. But just remember, we close in 25 minutes.
This place is huge. Yeah, it's not healthy. What? All this hoarding. You know, people hanging on to crap they don't need and they don't even want. For years and fucking years. It's all underground. Hey! Hey! Can you hold the elevator? What floor, ladies? Four, please. You need a key for four. Yeah, no, we have it somewhere. It's okay, you go ahead. Got a unit here, huh? No, we live here. It's like my fiance has a unit here. Your fiance? That's nice. Do you have a fiance? No. Do you? <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Listen, if you're not doing anything later. Yeah, okay, we'll call ya. That was not nice. Seriously? Oh, well, hey, you know, if things don't work out with Brad, maybe you could hook up with that one. Seems like a real smooth operator. We need the key. Yeah. Who is it who taught you how to do that again? Was that that guy, Carlos? No, I taught him. Really? Then who taught you? Baron. Barry the lawyer. Yeah. Whatever happened to him, I really liked him. He's doing five to ten in a Buffalo correctional. For what? Financial elder abuse. What the hell is that? He embezzled $50,000 from his grandmother. Molly, wait, look. Would you chill? Most of the time, those things aren't even connected. The hamster boy upstairs is probably just watching porn. See? You're just sticking in and jiggle. Hang on. Wait, Molly. Molly. Why would God run something down there? Yeah, I didn't think it was this cheap. It says four or five nine. Come on. Wind reception. Start your final round? I guess. You know, that's a great attitude you got there, Wayne. You're gonna go a long way, believe me. Yeah? Like you? Well, that's clever. Yeah, in five years' time, when you're still sweeping the floor, you won't feel so clever. Believe me. Hey, check the fire doors. Right. Check the fire doors. <sighs> Kids are more. Heard that in Nebraska. 
Oh, very funny. Can we just find this fucking thing and get out of here? Yeah. five to ten no actually my dad jeez molly you sure you want to do this open it all right draft in here. Hit the lights. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Molly! I'm not touching you. Hi. I'm a fucking police touch officer, me. okay? Hello? Don't fucking touch me. What's going on? Police. What? I heard her shouting. I just pulled her out of the elevator shaft. She's dead. What? She's dead. She's dead. Who's dead? Molly, she's dead. Oh my god. Back there at the floor below us. I think she's in shock. Okay, okay. Look at me. Look at me. What's your name? 
Ella. Ella, I'm Detective Burns, okay? Why don't you just tell me what's going on here? We went down. My fiance is a unit. There was something in there. It. It killed my friend. Oh my God. Okay, Ella, here's what I need you to do, okay? I need you to stay with this lady right here. What's your name? Yo, what's your name? Oh, uh, Willow. Willow, I need you to stay with Willow. What's the number of your unit down there, okay? Come on, what is it? Uh, it's 4059. Okay. You're not gonna just leave us. Just gonna go check it out and be right back, okay? 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 Okay. homeopathic here take one no thanks i'm okay you sure they have extract of kava root they're great for anxiety they're completely natural oh i actually sell them online i went through a divorce last year and i basically live on these things where's molly who my friend where is she you couldn't find anyone down there what but she's down there, I'll show you. I didn't see anyone. Do you think I'm lying? I, I didn't say that. Who'd you say attacked you? It wasn't a person. What do you mean it wasn't a person? You mean like, a, like an animal? No, it was like a wild person. Uh, you want something? <laughs> Have you been taking drugs? What? Marco Perugias. I can't find my red Marco Perugias. What box did you put them in? I really have no idea, Sarah. 
For God's sakes, what is your stuff doing in my pile? This is supposed to be my pile. <clears throat> it's in my pile now. Are you happy? I'll be happy when we're finally divorced. All right. Yeah, we're closing up. So are you gotta leave? Um, we really need some more time. Could you hold on a little while longer? Uh, sorry. It's just, I came all the way from Japan, and I really need to do this now. I really appreciate it. All right. You got 10 minutes. Okay. You could have said something. Uh, well, what exactly did you expect me to say? Uh, I command you to keep this establishment open in the name of my soon-to-be ex-wife's titanic sense of entitlement. You know, Ian, you're a real asshole. Well, I learned from the best. Try the fire. told you we were going to my fiance's unit. Why would he have a unit down there? That floor obviously hasn't been used in years. I don't know. Are you sure you're not on something? What is it with you people? Not everyone is on drugs. Hey, 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 you gotta bring it down and not go back, huh? How'd you even get down there? We put a wire in the keyhole. My friend is good at that stuff. What about this, huh? What about it? That unit is on this level. 3142. 3142. You were looking at the last four digits of the account number. I, does your fiance even know about this? Look, I thought he was seeing someone else, okay? I just wanted to have a look. Why are you asking me all these questions? Molly is missing. We have to go find her. I told you, I didn't see anyone down there. But if there is, that's a problem. And I need to get you guys to safety, okay? Okay, there's cameras all over the place. Let's just go upstairs and then you can make them look at the tape. Well, they have to, you're a cop, right? Sure, sure, we can try. Yeah, okay. Elevator's out. Uh, we gotta use the stairs. I think they're, uh, I think they're this way, come on. Wait! Can I just get something out of my unit? I'll just be a minute. No one's stopping you. <sighs> but... But, yeah. <sighs> Come on. Wayne. 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 
Wayne. Wayne! He checked the quiet doors. It's all I asked him to do. It's not rocket science. I can't get into the new program. I was trying to help out a kid, but some of that was looking at me funny. Three times is added to. <laughs> They let you pack. I mean, how could I possibly be that dumb? You're taking 60% of my assets and income? You can't be that dumb. Well, I earned every cent. Believe me. Oh, shit. What the fuck am I making? Did you want to consider helping? Okay. Don't you think, as we stand here among the ruins of our marriage, there might be more important things to think about than a pair of fucking shoes? Such as what? Yeah. To think, I once felt emotions for you describable as love. See, that's that maudlin streak of yours. Now tell me, how's that playing with the girls these days? It's funny, no one ever called me maudlin before I met you. You seem to have that effect on them. One, particularly. Doesn't seem to affect the others. Uh, speaking of the others, how is Doug? You know, I don't see so much of him these days, now that he's fucking you. Yeah, well, at least he does fuck me. For the moment. Yeah, well, you should talk to him. You know, he seems to be enjoying himself so far. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I really get a kick out of these conversations, Sarah. Well, unless you want to spend another delightful evening in this shit hole together, why don't you go on upstairs and talk to those assholes and get them to keep this place afloat? Fine. You gotta check your cell phones, okay? No, you lost mine. If I miss a dose, it's dangerous. You're gonna get it, okay? Any signal? There you are. <laughs> Ian? Ian, did you speak to those guys? Oh, you know what? Fine, just don't talk to me. I cannot wait to not have to deal with your bullshit anymore.
that. I told you all I'm not on drugs. Are you? Me? No. Really? You pop enough of those pills. Look, that thing killed my friend and it's still down there. Oh, Christ. Wait! Well, what are we gonna do? Right, that's why you just tried to shoot your way out of here. There could be more people down there. We should warn them. Okay, let's go. Now, do you believe me? Behind me. She's gone. Police! Hold her right there! No, I only left her a couple of minutes. I said stop! Oh, Jesus Christ. You have to help me find Sarah. I need you to stay calm. What? Sir, I need you to stand up against the wall there. What are you talking about? We have to find Sarah. Who's Sarah? My wife. Well, that is, my ex-wife. Actually, she's still my wife. My soon-to-be ex-wife. Why are you pointing that thing at me? What's your name? Ian, we have to find Sarah. Ian, we gotta be smart. What do you mean, smart? This place is huge. You can't just bust open every door. Now, we don't even know what's happening down here. What's happening just happened to my wife. That's her blood, for fuck's sake. We don't know that for sure. You're just gonna abandon her. I, I'm not saying that. Look, maybe the best way to find your wife is to find a way out of here and call the police. I thought he was the police. I am the <laughs> Seen him before? It wasn't him. You sure? He was kind of weird with us earlier, but. Hey, wait, wait a minute. What's in your unit? I'm a cop with two women missing down here. You're a cop. Where's your uniform? Detective homicide. I'm taking a look inside. You can't do that. You need a warrant. Is this really necessary? You can't do this. You don't have the right. Get off my stuff! You're living here? Well, the fuck what? I lost my job, okay? What? Is that a crime now? You got a job? And you? He's got a gun and a job. What is Big this? guy. What is this? Don't touch that! Oh, oh, oh. It was my grandfather's. Ceremonial. What for? Beheadings? Fuck you. This is my place. I want your badge number. I don't have to take this shit. Okay, just calm down. Okay, didn't I just tell him to shut the fuck up? Why the fuck should I calm down? Okay, shut up. Listen, I told you, there are two women missing here, okay? His wife may have been abducted, and her friend might have been murdered. Somebody killed your friend? It wasn't somebody. It was something. You know, there is something weird going on down here. I moved in like three days ago. Couldn't make my rent. My landlord threw me out. Fucking Bible thump. Yeah. Hypocrite. Yeah, okay. I mean, we'll get it. Come on. Go on. Second night after the place closed down, I heard these noises. What noises? I don't know, noises. Like this weird fucking moaning. I always knew this place had a bad energy. I pick up on these things. I'm very intuitive. Where did these noises come from? I don't know. I was in here. They sort of floated around, you know what I mean? Not really. Were they on this level? 
No, they kind of came from below. So the basement, level four. I, I, I didn't know there was a level four. I already was down in that level. There's nothing going on down there. Molly is down there. No, I don't know shit about Molly or nothing like that on that level, but on this level, we got a person missing, and I got to get us out of here. And how are we going to do that? They lock this place up pretty tight at night. Yeah, tell me about it. But there's a maintenance closet just down the hallway. <laughs> I get awkward when I talk to girls. And then I lost my job. I wasn't much of a catch in the first place. What's your name? Rashid. Oh. Come back. Come back. Fuck okay, up. that's it. They use these to cut through people's padlocks, like when they don't pay their rent. Check this out. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Why would anyone be okay in this situation? Sorry, my, my blood sugar is getting okay. too high. Okay, okay, come on, let's go. Yeah. You know, it's no smoking down here. Eat me. Hey, come on, we're wasting time. Let's go. We gotta cut the chain upstairs. No, 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 no. What about my wife? I thought we settled that question. <laughs> no, we didn't. We didn't settle anything. Look, I gotta think about the safety of these women, all right? Oh, sure. What about do. my safety? Guys, come on. You said you were getting divorced, right? Yes. She left you. Is that right? Probably had an affair? Yeah, I thought so. You learn to read these things in my job. What'd she get? What? In the settlement, more than half, right? <laughs> well, she got Right, it. she takes all your money, probably fucking some other guy. Right? That's gotta, that's gotta really hurt. Now, what's no? this gotta do with you? Okay, you go back downstairs, we come down, there's blood all over the floor. You come back and tell us she's missing. <laughs> what the fuck? You don't really think. You, me, and her were upstairs. Sure as hell wasn't one of us. You bastard. Yeah. You got something else you want to say? Oh, no. Let 
Wolfgang attacked us. Seriously? Yeah. You need to get to the stairs and cut the chain. Something there. What? What's his name? Rashid. Rashid! What's happening, Rashid? I can't see. Hey! Stay back! It's you! Rashid! Rashid! We're not gonna die. We are. Look. We're all gonna die. 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 We're not all gonna die. Okay. Okay. Now what? Huh? I don't know. I thought you had it all worked out. Not now, asshole. Why not now, asshole? Hey! There's another door. At the other side of the building. Maybe there's a stairwell there. Why the hell didn't you tell us before? I didn't know. I thought it was locked. Oh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you? You do whatever you want. I think you better come with us. It'll be no good to your wife if you're dead. There's no fire up here. What are we gonna do now?
You think that won't be blocked too? That's where we need to go. There's nowhere else. That's down. Why would we want to go down? Hello? I'm talking, buddy. I like the sound of your voice. Guys like that, they need to think they're in control. They get outside their comfort zone, they start to lose it. Are you a psychologist? I work in advertising, but you don't need a PhD. Look, maybe if you think he's gonna start losing it, you shouldn't wind him up. What are you doing? There's something here I need. What is this, a fucking donut break? Okay. What do you got on there? My packed lunch. You touch that again, you're gonna regret it. You just dragged us all the way down here. You can damn well tell us why. I don't have to tell you shit, okay? You wanna find your own way out of here? Be my fucking guest, all right? Well, you think we're following you because of your, uh, your leadership skills? Because of your uh, outstanding, problem-solving intellect? Or we're following you because of that. This? This! This is telling you to stop being an asshole and shut the fuck up. Let him go. Vince, for Christ's sake! What's that? Sure, he's collecting for Africa. You brought us down here for that? You risked our lives for that! He had to. If we get out of here, there'll be an investigation. They would have found his bag. Well, he's right, isn't he? <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot us? You're gonna shoot me? <laughs> and do, what, on TV? Yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna back up right now. Okay, I mean it. Okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah. New York's finest. What'd you say? What'd you say you do? Advertising? So you spend your day lying to everybody and then you make what, two, three hundred a year? Condo in Manhattan, expense account, company car for the weekends in the Hamptons. Me? I put my life on the line every day for 70K before taxes. I got three kids, mortgage is fucking killing me, house is under the water, I, I can't even fucking sell it. And some prick like you comes in here and tells me, just suck it up. Hey. What are we gonna do now? Without a gun, we're defenseless. <clears throat> Level four. <sighs> when Molly opened the door, she said she felt a draft. Maybe there's an air vent or something. There must be a way out. I'm gonna pass out. I can feel it. I need to get to my unit. There's insulin in there. What, what, what is it? I'll, I'll, no, no, I'll get no, it. no. I, you won't find it. I'll be quicker if I go alone. It's just down there. Just, I just.
wait out here. Why don't we help you? No, uh, I'll just be a minute. I won't be long. We need to hurry her up. It's okay. You're on the way? It's the brand name. Oh, yeah. This is more. She's high as a fucking kite. So how long since you last fixed? I needed it. You don't understand. I was in pain. We're all in pain. She's not going anywhere in this state. Just give me a minute. We're gonna have to leave her in here. What? We're locking you in. No. We're just gonna go and get help. You're probably safer in here anyway. Mm. Might be something in here that we could use. Anyway. Is this a scalpel? There's something better over there in that box. Vitamin E supplement. Open it. I bought it to protect myself, but I've never even picked it up. Always been too scared to. But well, what about you? That thing shows up. It's getting 100 milligrams of propofol. It's a pre med. Knock out an elephant. Is it locked? Yes. Don't open it for anyone. Hey, thank you. For what? For being okay. <laughs> so what brought you here tonight? I was looking for something in my fiancé's unit. Huh? A diary. Why? I was trying to control things as usual. Huh. I shouldn't have come here. See if you can climb down. Well, I climbed up. from me.
This is it, right? It's okay. It's okay, I got it. Oh, Jesus. Watch the door. Him, the reception guard. What do you mean? Sir. <laughs> we have to move. Comfortable, huh? Yeah. Now, I gotta do this so you can drink, you know? Drink. Not so bad. Don't worry, I'm gonna take
if you will carry it.
Everything's gonna be easy now. You know you caused me a lot of trouble. Uh, what? Now you let Jeffrey out. Jeffrey. Oh my God. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't worry. People like it here. You're gonna like it too. No. It's easy here. Easy. Please. Please. I look after everything. You can forget about all your worries from your old life. Look what I found. Your old diary. Please. May the 10th, 2008. 2 p.m. Peter, blue dress, 6 p.m. Dennis, schoolgirl outfit, new client, his hotel. That was a long time ago. I'm not judging you, I understand. You know, you, you hang on to stuff, me too. Sometimes hanging on to stuff can cause you a whole heap of trouble. But your fiance, I, I remember him. You know, good looking guy, nice car, kind of anal. I don't think he'd understand. But, uh, you don't have to worry about that no more. Please let me go. Oh, well, that's just silly. No. How do you know you're not gonna like it here until you try? They'll look for me. They'll look for the others. No, they won't. No one ever has. We need to get you ready. No. Ah, uh, what do you know? Out of staples. Sorry about that. Now, you need to open up your mouth.
Hey, can I help you? I, uh, I have a unit here. Sure, what's the name on that? It's uh, Butler. Brad Butler. Okay, let's see now. 3142. That's the one. I need to clear it out. Sure, no problem. My fiance and I, we, we had a bunch of stuff in there, just old junk, really. Stuff I should have thrown away. Huh. A few weeks ago, she just disappeared with her crazy friend. No one's seen him since. It's funny, because you think you know people. I hear you. <laughs> anyway, I should probably take a look inside. You know, maybe there's something I missed. Sure. You know what? Forget it. I, I didn't miss anything. Sometimes you just have to face facts. Uh huh. Now, I don't even know why I kept any of this shit anyway. Sometimes it's hard to throw things away. Yeah. You know what? Just sell it. We can take care of that for you. Where would you like us to forward the check? Give it to that guy. Who the hell taught you how to pack? 